Hi, my name is Alessandro Gondrosi and that's a tip tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. Um, this time we'll see how we can create a turntable uh, for a character and that's a really useful way because you know uh, it is common to use a turntable to show to the client or to the uh, supervisor or, or to uh, to other people uh, what we've done and to check all the textures and uh, the shading for a character or maybe a 3D mesh. Uh, there are many ways to create the turntable and uh, we would like to, to see two ways to create a loopable uh, turntable 360 degree around the mesh. Um, let's imagine that uh, that's our camera so let's create a camera from this point of view so we can go there inside view create camera from view and we have our camera and you can imagine that we have the possibility to uh, move this one to the center of the mesh so we can for example select this mesh and we can align it to the center just um, over the X and the Z the axis and you see that the Y axis is OK and then we need to rotate uh, um, the camera let's remove the other camera so we have just this one OK and we like to create the round turntable all around and let's imagine that we have 150 frames so we can go there and uh, let's create a circle that will be <coughs> sorry the path we have to use and let's scale it just a little bit so we can do something like that okay and uh, we can set the interpolation to adapt it to have a better spline and we can move it to the y-axis as the camera okay and then we can select the camera then we can go there inside the motion panel we can go there inside the assign controller and you see that we have the position and we can assign a position list so we are able to have more uh, position controller uh, certified over the the some layers let's go there and we have the first one is the position X Y and Z and we select the available and then again there to select the controller and we set past path constraint let's close this one and select path constraint set active and we can select now the path so we can press add path and select this spline and let's say that's uh, it's relative so it, uh, it can maintain the initial position let's close and let's see you see actually it's moving and now it is working fine okay um, so you see we have the 90 degree and if we like to have a different rotation you have just to change the path so let's go there let's use this one at full screen let's expand the UHE okay and let's see there filters and we say selected objects remove this one and remove okay in this way okay uh, let's go there and you see that we have the percentage of the animation and to have the other uh, the contrary so the uh, uh, rotation is uh, completely different we can set there 100 percent and there we can set zero percent so now you see we have 
a different rotation because we inverted the path okay and uh, if you like now to move let's close this one if you like to move uh, the position of the camera obviously you have complete control using the the path so you see we can set the camera upper and if you like to move the uh, the target you can just go to camera selection and select this point and you see that you can move it as you need so that's the first way uh, to create uh, a path animation and you see it's really really uh, sorry uh, it's really really simple and we done it in a few minutes so uh, we can find also other ways to create uh, the, the, the turntable and uh, we can explore how to do it so the other ways will be uh, let's go there and let's remove let's say we have a perspective and we can delete let's close the curve editor and let's remove the circle and let's remove the camera let's imagine that uh, this one is our camera so let's create the camera and we select the camera and let's imagine that we have a free camera we can for example go there let's create a dummy and we can align it to the center of the mesh let's say OK we can select back the camera and we can say um, inside the position we can for example OK let's select the camera and uh, let's go there inside the motion panel and for the rotation we can go for a rotation list and the first one will be the Euler so we can control the camera rotation and the second one is available and we can use the look at constraint so we say to the camera uh, where uh, it needs to look to look at so let's go there let's close this one look at set active and close this one and then add look at and we select the dummy and use the keep initial position okay then uh, we can go out of there and we can link the camera to the dummy and then you see that if I select the camera the, the dummy we obtain a camera rotation okay so let's go there out of key and let's go to the last frame and let's do a rotation by 360 let's close out of key and let's remove the shapes and you see that we have a rotation uh, the problem is that we have a slowdown at the beginning and at the end and that's due to the, uh, to the animation you see there because the Bezier is the standard interpolation for the curve so we have to pick this one and say that we have 360 degree uh, rotation and then we have to select both the key and set to linear so now we have a precise rotation all around our mesh and we can loop it with, uh, with no problem so uh, it was really really simple and we explored two ways to create a turntable that can be loopable in 3ds max so for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on max cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com bye